Hello, everybody. Uh, on this fabulous rainy Thursday, if you're farther north, you're probably in snow right now, but we just have a lot of rain right now. Um, my internet's been spotty as well, so hopefully you're not having that same problem. Question came up asking about uh, working uh, with the school laptops in Blender and particularly not being able to have a number pad. That's a problem <laughs> and always causes me some, some issues. You can um, get, just take a regular, if you have a regular USB keyboard, you can, well, that has a number pad, you can plug that into the laptop. That will work. Uh, also working if you have a separate number pad device, that would work as well. But if you don't, this is what I'm going to show you, and it's probably a good one to look at because there's a lot of different ways you can work with this interface. Some of the nice things they've put in uh, in 2.8, they have added in this little guy over here, so we can move back and forth and rotate on the X, Y, and Z axis. You can kind of see where you're at. Um, you have your uh, zoom view, your hand view, your camera view, oops, just like that, and if you click on it, more than once, it'll bring you in or out. And also your um, perspective view, which is kind of like the, the um, if you hit front view and then uh, five, it'll give you your perspective view from orthogonal view. So to get around though, um, these guys help a little bit. Uh, this whole section over here will help you a lot. The other one is right over here under view. And this is where you would replace the number pad piece. So. Under here, you have viewport. Uh, excuse me, viewpoint, and the viewpoint has the the camera. You'll see number pad, top view, number pad seven, bottom view, no, uh, shift number pad, uh, front, back, right, and left. So this removes that part of the the number pad issue, which which is pretty helpful. Um, you also have your navigation, which gives you the orbital left, orbital right, rolling left or right. Um, as you can see, oops, little things like that. Um, as we kind of work through this, Let's see if I can bring, my, bring myself back. Um, right, there we go. And uh, pan left, pan right, pan down, pan up, zoom in, zoom out. So these are issues you can also use if you wanted to. Um, there is a interactive fly navigation, which I have not used before. Oh, goodness, I have not used directly before. Um, which is right here. And of course, I can see it. If you look down at the very bottom of my screen, there is a huge amount of information that comes up when you hit that fly number. And of course, I want to get out of that. I hit escape to get out of that. Um, for your camera, you can set active objects as camera at camera view. You can also lock your, um, your view here. Oh, goodness, where did I put it here? View. Camera, align, active camera to view, and that would give you, yes, the alignment piece. So if you have a, a perspective you see you want to have, you can do an align active camera to view. And this one gives you the camera view here. And if you need to make modifications and move it around, you hit N and go to under here you have all your transformation tablet, your transformation points, which are really good to have. Make sure you keep these guys around. Um, scale dimensions, rotations, locations, tools here. But under view, you have this lock cursor to view, and this allows us now to move around the cursor a little bit more. Okay, now shift key, I can move it up or down, so I can move around so I can see my cursor more. And you can pinch and zoom in or out this way. So this gives you a way of actually looking at your, oopsie, that was too far, um, looking at where your camera is. Now, once you have that, um, you can animate with this as well. And what I would recommend doing is once you have this set, you're like, okay, I like that view. Um, once you come out of that and you're trying to animate with the camera, what you could do is you viewpoint on uh, top, push yourself out, and you can see where your camera is over here. So in the same case, you hit I and do location, uh, uh, location rotation, uh, lock ROT, lock rot. Um, and that would give you the ability to, to put a point in and then move yourself around, things like that. Um, you could put yourself back into the camera view and then move yourself, you know, do the camera view, move your camera around and, and lock yourself up that way. 
that's one way to do this <clears throat> and really a, a pretty good way of working with it as well. Some of the other parts that come under view that are pretty powerful, uh, you have your viewport uh, render image, animation and keyframes, but under here, this area one, this is new and just be kind of careful with it because what you can do is you can automatically put yourself into a quad view. And here I am in quad view. And so I can look at, this out of the way, my camera view, what I'm looking at. I can look at uh, each view from different angles. And this will tell me where I'm at, uh, top, front, and right. So if I need to move my camera in a specific fashion, you know, I can hit G and move it around. You can see how that's moving here. And maybe it's going to be an R on Z. And I'll just move it a little bit, a little, uh, a little much. Okay, so you can move it around a little bit better than I think what I had before. Move it here a little bit, and then R on Z, and try to rotate it without trying to jostle everybody. And then you could do, from this point, you can still see that, you could I, location, rotation, you lock your camera into view that way. So it gives you a whole other way of doing this. And again, don't be too worried about it. Um, in this case, get as best you can. If the camera flies off and goes up and down and runs around like a drunken sailor, that's fine. Okay, it's the first time you've done this and trying to do it on the, on the MacBooks is really hard because it's so small and tiny. But have a good time with it. Remember, everything's under here. Oh, 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 last one. Forgot before I go out, keep moving on. Um, if you uh, are in this and you want to go back, you just have to go back here to area, hit toggle view. I screwed that up for about five minutes and had to wait while I got this in place for you. So you go there and that gives you your views. And so now you can look at what your, your views are um, just under the view menu. It makes it much easier to work with here. And what they've added in over here also lets you kind of roll around a lot better um, in, in trying to figure out your space. Gives you a little way of kind of moving in or out just on that one and moving around this just for that hand view. So this replaces parts of the keyboard, parts of the mouse. Um, still not fantastic, oopsie, that was not what I wanted. Um, not fantastic, but it, it, it makes it a lot easier to work with. I hope that helps. And if it does, great. Uh, hopefully there are other people are having the same problem. Uh, well, I hope you're not all having the same problem, but we'll see if we can fix that, okay? All right, have a great day, stay dry, stay safe, and I will see you, or talk to you probably next week. That would be a good one, all right. Have a nice weekend, man.